the basics of removing a crank gear on a Chevy small block. This is a 4.3 with a balance shaft. Same thing as the Chevy 350, except she's got this extra gear up here and it runs as drive. All I did, take my two jaw puller, or you could use a three jaw. Let's change down. Got it behind here, put a bolt. The original bolt is a lot longer, so actually I used one for the flywheel since it's metric and it's fine thread. Stuck it all the way in there so we don't screw the threads up. I got the puller on here and I got some uh, PV blaster, any type of oil. And that looks like it for the most part. I'm tired of seeing these videos where people couldn't get them off. So I'm going to have to use my hands to hold it. So let's pause it first. So actually it was just loose and it was coming off. And this is a lot thicker than the original, than what's supposed to be on there. So I threw out the timing gear already, the chain. So I'm going to find what this is and get that because there's way difference in thickness. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's thick, less thick. So we're going to replace that. We're going to mark it on here, put some paint on there so we know which side is front, and then go from there. And you can't run double roller chains because they won't clear the plastic covers. You can run a single roller chain, such as this was already run. And uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple. Just take your time, make sure it's screwed all the way in. So it's against, you don't want to put the puller in there. The threads will screw up and you'll be stuck. Thank you for watching.